How are you doing today? Welcome back to the channel. This is Ari Barsha and you are watching Food Tech Simplified and I am so sorry that I haven't been able to post any kind of video for the last one month because I have been so busy, I have been so engaged with the my internship, my major project at FSSAI and uh, at FSSAI I was given an opportunity to speak, to present on climate change and sustainable food systems and that was particularly on the event called the launch of Eat Lancet Commission report and the Eat Lancet Commission report basically talks about how we can uh, sustain the resources, how we can sustain our planet while feeding the population, feeding the people on the earth, on the planet. So uh, the Eat Lancet report was launched in Oslo in Norway in January uh, in January 2019 and since then it has been launched in 25 other countries and now this, uh, this was India's turn. So the Eat Lancet Commission report was launched in India on 4th of April 2019 and I was given an, uh, an opportunity over there to speak on climate change and sustainable food systems and there's a recording, the, uh, the complete video stream has been uploaded on FSSAI's channels also. So if you want to watch the complete video, you can, I will put a link down in the description so that you can watch the complete video. But in this particular video, I'm just going to show you the clipping, my particular clipping of my presentation. And that, uh, that video, that presentation is not very much related to food technology, but I really think that this is very important for us and the future generations to understand that we have to consume resources, the food resources and other plant resources so that the future generations can also use them so that the planet is also sustained so that we don't, uh, you know, abuse the resources of the planet. So uh, I will just stop here and I will let you know, understand what happened and make sure you watch till the end because one of the greatest dignitaries over there also commented, also complimented my presentation. I will see you in the end. Uh, I would now like to invite Arib. Arib is a student, master student of food technology. He's presently interning with FSSAI and he would be presenting on sustainable food systems and climate change. Food. All of us are present here because of food. Food is the single strongest lever that pulls all of us, that connects all of us, that can help us build a sustainable environment and that can also help us lead healthy life. But unfortunately, we have adopted such methods to produce food, such methods of consuming food that has set us off on a catastrophic path. Now, it is our own duty to blow off the fire that we have ignited. It is our responsibility to preserve the planet. It is our responsibility to act now. Respected dignitaries, ladies and gentlemen, I am Ari Barshat, I am from Gautamad University and today I am going to talk about sustainable food systems and climate change. Now some of the key points that I am going to cover in this presentation. Some of the learnings from the Eat Lancet report, how the Eat Lancet report is relevant to the Indian context, some of the ongoing efforts by the government and the gaps and challenges the stakeholders, the key stakeholders, and finally, the action plan that we can start right now. Now, there are multiple learnings from the Eat Lancet Commission report, but this one, these three learnings are from the context or from the perspective of the climate change from the sustainable food systems. Now, a global shift is required towards the healthy diet, towards the sustainable diet. This is the need of the hour. And what kind of diet? The diet that includes most of the part of the diet that must, be, uh, that, um, that must include the plant and the plant-based products. Now, the shift from land use from net source of carbon to net sink of carbon. We have to build the farming practices, the agriculture practices in such a way that 
the carbon sinks there is net sink of carbon and obviously the improved food production practices are also required now as this was already discussed by dr brent loken uh, over here that uh, these are the six criteria or these are basically the six uh, earth system process that have been commissioned so these are some of the boundaries and the control variables must stay within these boundaries and this has been already discussed so i will move on now how is this relevant india ranks 33rd among 67 countries in food sustainability index 2018 and according to the report of economist intelligence uh, unit and barilla center of food and nutrition india ranks india scores 71.3 out of 100 in air emissions in food sustainability index according to national family health survey about 12 states in india fall under the alarming category of global hunger index due to the climate change and according to a report by oxford indian population is expected to reach 1.6 billion by 2036 and that will greatly that will hugely impact on greenhouse gas emissions and finally the last point according to third assessment report by ipcc the climate change would hit india severely in terms of reducing the agricultural products now what are the ongoing efforts establishment of conservation of non renewable resources because these are limited and focusing on renewable ones and this one is covered under the national water mission under the national mission for green india we have covered measures for expanding carbon sinks through increase in forest and tree cover to 25 to 33% and under the national mission for sustainable agriculture incorporating schemes for regenerative agricultural practices and now the fourth point i would like to elaborate a little on the fourth point here uh, in september 2018 the government had collaborated with food and agriculture organization fao uh, to build a mission to build uh, basically that uh, objective five basically that uh, the purpose of that collaboration is the conservation of critical biodiversity and ongoing ongoing efforts is that the, this is such a great thing that all of us are present here and we are creating awareness through the webcast now you can see them as gaps or challenges or you can see them as the opportunities the poor, there are poor agricultural practices there is lack of education training there is lack of efficient use of resources and obviously there is environmental degradation but there are methods there are solutions to these challenges that we can adopt we can educate we can adopt systems that use the resources efficiently we can train the farmers and food business handlers to uh, adopt agriculture to adopt good agriculture practices now some of the key stakeholders here ministry of thinking and drinking water and sanitation uh, ministry of agriculture that also uh it would include farmers and farmer associations some industry industrial organization fertilizer manufacturers and ministry of forest ministry of water ministry of chemicals some academic and research institutions and citizens media houses and so on now what can we do what are the action areas obviously we know that the land is limited and most of the land is already consumed so we can go vertical we can start this right now we can go vertical farming this is not a new term all of us knew it already and we can also grow crops some uh, amount of crops that that is possible in our homes now obviously there there are a lot of laws that i just mentioned in the previous slides there are laws present but the strong enforcement of the laws of conservation and deforestation is required and reduce water use now water if i classify or categorize water there are three major categories the first one is used in industries the water is used in agriculture and the third part is constituted by the households so what we can do we can increase the consumer awareness or we can use some systems some systems that reuse or reduce the use of water 
implementation of good agricultural practices now farmer education is very critical we need to implement this as soon as possible and tracking greenhouse gas emissions in agriculture and the last point shifting dietary trends to healthy and sustainable diets now this one we can start right now after this event uh, the youngsters who are watching this through webcast or everyone who's present here we can shift our habits gradually to adopt new habits and uh, one more thing to the college students because I'm also a college student and there are cultural fest or events that are organized in the college or in the institutions so what you can do you can organize an event where you promote healthy food where you promote habit habits change so we can promote that and now in the final slide uh, I just want to because uh, I don't know how many of you have watched Marvel's Avengers but uh, I'm sure pretty much that the people, the students who are watching this through the webcast right now must be fan, most of them must be fan of Avengers. So I'm going to quote something from Avengers Age of Ultron. Uh, there's a scene where Tony Stark says, we are the Avengers. We can bust arm dealers all day, but that up there, that is the end game. Tell me guys, how are you going to defeat that? And Captain America replies, together. If the Earth's mightiest heroes can do this together, why can't we? The Eat Lancet Commission report promoted a hashtag, hashtag food can fix it. But now I want to promote this hashtag, we can fix it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Arif. Thank you for inspiring us. And uh, we are sure you will fix it. What do they really care about? And then can they connect healthy foods to the thing they really care about? It's not enough to say, you should eat more of this because it's good for you. That's not, that message is not going to go anywhere. It sounds like you're being lectured in a classroom. It sounds like, you, it sounds like you're being made to feel stupid. Um, and you don't know what's good for you. So you have to forget, find something that people really care about. When I was at a presentation here at FSSAI this morning. One of the young students was presenting something on nutritious food and he said I, I I need to be able to link this to movies that 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 teenagers and young people care about. He mentioned the Avengers movies. I don't know if any of you were there and you, you heard that. And you know I was kind of zoning out because he was presenting so many numbers and they were they were fantastic numbers but I was kind of having a little zone out. But as soon as he said movies and the Avengers I've seen lots of Avenger movies with my kids, <laughs> believe me. I, my ears pricked up because it was something unusual. It wasn't something I expected to hear in the nutrition domain. And we have to try to elicit that response whenever we talk about healthy food. Let's think of something unusual that, that people really perk their ears up, sit up straight to listen to. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it and make sure you apply some of the steps that I have mentioned in the presentation and make sure you, if, if you have time, so please do watch the complete video at FSSI channels and do subscribe to FSSI channels. Subscribe to FSSI channels before my channel. And just in case you are wondering what is the report all about, what is the Eat Lancet Commission report all about and if you want to study that report, I will also put a link down, uh, down in the description so that you can download the report. It's completely free. You can study it, you can distribute it, whatever you want to do with it. Till then, keep growing, keep learning and I will see you next time class. Dismissed.